Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll go over how to install and run your first uh, open foam case. So uh, we'll start, um, installation is pretty straightforward, you just go ahead to the open foam website and go to the uh, downloads page. Um, I'm using Ubuntu, uh, which is a Linux system, so this uh, the process for this is very straightforward. They have uh, very good uh, list of instructions. You just uh, copy these commands and paste it in your command window and run them. Um, I've already run through this because it could take a you know little a few minutes or so. So um, yeah, and they even have a little insta installation problems section in case you run into any problems. Um, and after that, after everything's after you've completed the installation procedure which are just these four steps up here you can you need to uh, add it to your environment so to speak so uh, that would be in the user configuration part um, so I haven't done that yet so I'll just go ahead and show that um, so you can actually leave your previous versions here and comment them out in your bash rc file. Um, I've just added the one for the newest version, 240. Um, these are my own personal commands, so you can ignore that. So you just add this to the bottom of your bash rc. And then in order for it to take an effect, you can either just restart the command window or source it. So now the uh, 240 should be ready to use on your computer. So let's run our first case. Um, there is an environment variable called foam tutorials where you can access all of the built-in open foam tutorials. We can see that we have it subdivided by topic, combustion, compressible flow, financial simulation, heat transfer, incompressible, etc. Even stress analysis for solids. Um, we'll just run a simple compressible, incompressible case. Um, so let's look for that. And let's go into pimple foam, just because it's my favorite. Oh well, actually I'm looking for the cavity, so I'll just um, I'll just use piezo foam. I believe that's that has a cavity. Uh, yes, so let's copy that case. To the desktop. Uh, so here you can see I have it, let's see, cavity. All right. Um, so first I'll explain the files. Um, the zero file is basically where all the boundary conditions are held. Um, here you can see that you have definitions for the velocity, the pressure, the turbulence uh, model variables, uh, uh, which are these four, which are contained in these four. When you do different turbulence models, you, you will need different files that you need to define. Um, but you can usually do that by copying from another tutorial case that already has these. And that's how usually uh, you would prepare your own custom case. You copy a similar one that uses the same sort of solver you're using from the tutorials case and then modify it to your uh, case. And the constant folder is where uh, the definition of the turbulence model and uh, also moving mesh uh, parameters, if you use those, uh, such as cyclic AMI. And it's also where the open foam mesh is stored. After you, there's a variety of meshers you can use in a variety of formats, and open foam has a variety of built-in converters. And when you use those converters and the mesh is actually an open foam format, it gets stored in the constant folder in these in this poly mesh folder specifically. So uh, the system defines the numerical schemes 
uh, the tolerances, uh, the residual tolerances to run, and uh, the runtime parameters such as current number, the time step, how long to run it, uh, when to stop, and all that. It also con the control dict uh, contains this the solver you're going to use. So in this case, we're using the piezo foam solver. So you can see here uh, it would be defined in the control dict right here, application piezo foam. And there are a variety of other settings that uh, you can uh, adjust to your liking. So we'll just go ahead and run it. All you need to do is go into the home directory and type in your solver name, which would be piezofoam in this case. Uh, oh, first, I, I this uh, tutorial case is actually a raw case, so you need to create the mesh. Um, so um, in, th in this case, uh, the tutorial uses a built-in mesh generator called block mesh. So the uh, block mesh dictionary can be found in polymesh, constant polymesh. As you can see there, the block mesh dict. So um, all you really need to do is call block mesh, as, I, as you saw. I, all I need to do is call block mesh in the main directory, and it'll generate it automatically based on the definition in the block mesh dict. I personally don't use block mesh very often. I like to use gmesh because you can script in your geometry and then change the parameters by just changing the va value of a variable and then remesh your whole um, uh, your whole domain. So it's a really a script-based meshing tool rather than a GUI or a, um, something like that. So now we th that we have our mesh created, we can finally call our solver piezofoam. And as you can see, it's running. Um, you know, it'll run as long uh, as uh, defined in the control dict, which apparently is uh, till time 10 seconds. Um, so now it's run, and um, the, the number of the time steps written out here are also defined in the control dict. Um, so you have to, in order to view the solution, you have to write it out. So in the control dict, you define which time steps are written out that, uh, so that you can view them later. Um, this is so. Um, once you have these, you can view them using uh, pair of the open foam sort of version of pair view, um, which you can access with pair foam. Calling pair foam. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Uh, pair foam. Yeah. 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 I had to capitalize that. Use camel case. So it'll automatically generate um, the necessary pair of view setup for your solution. Okay. So all you need to do, apparently I can't minimize this. Um, so you can see that uh, in this window, you can choose what is going to be viewed. So here, the internal mesh encompasses the whole volume. You, you also have the boundaries if you want to check on the boundary uh, surfaces. Um, we're just going to view the whole thing. Just press apply. And here you can see the um, mesh, uh, the domain rather. Um, and here you can, with this toolbar, you can control the time. So here we're viewing at 0.5 seconds, one second. You could play it, etc. Um, so in order to, we have it set the field to view as solid color. We can set it to one of the field variables. So here we we see it as pressure. Um, you can also change this to get a view of the mesh to wireframe instead of surface. So here you can see it's just a, a, a ortho, orthogonal grid, um, but we'll just use surface for now. Um, and you can see the velocity here. So this is the lid driven cavity where there's a velocity in this way, and uh, flow is sort of just circling around like this. So you can see some 
what you might expect from that sort of setup. Um, See, so yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it to run your first case and viewing the results. Um, you can do, of course, you can do fancier things in pair of views, such as uh, creating your own fields by calculating certain quantities based on the base, uh, the the default fields, um, and uh, doing plots over lines or surfaces and integrals and stuff like that. But I won't cover that in this tutorial. So I hope this was helpful for the absolute beginner, um, and happy foaming.